Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a kite. Stay tuned. Now, people have been riding the winds with paper wings for thousands of years. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have never had any luck making kites before. I think we tried to do it in like fifth grade and I just more, I just more dragged a paper thing behind me in the parking lot. But today we are gonna actually do it. We're gonna make a kite. It is, it is gonna be a kite that can fly, I promise you this. Now the material I'll be using to make the sail of my kite is this tissue paper that I bought from the dollar store. Now you can use a whole bunch of different stuff for kites. If you want something a little more durable, I recommend using like a garbage bag or like one of the shopping bags or something. My tissue paper, if it touches any water, it just kind of melts. But the benefit is that it's super light, so it's gonna take nothing for it to kind of sail the breezes. Now for the skeleton of my kite, I'm using these balsa wood dowels that I had from when I was making my little miniature house. That being said, you don't have to use something like this. You can use skewers that you have around the house or just plain old straight sticks you find outside. You just want them straight and as light as possible. Now for my kite, I've chosen this charming green color for we are skill tree and leaves. And you get the thing. Now I start by folding my piece of paper in half. This is gonna make sure that my design is symmetrical and also gives me a nice center line to work from. Now if you do wanna use like a skewer or a smaller stick, you've gotta go ahead and measure it out a little bit. This is easy to do though. All you have to do is take your stick and put one end at the folded spine and the other end down at the bottom, making a rough 45 degree angle. Then all you have to do is mark those two ends, connect that line, and then cut that out. My sticks, however, are way longer than I actually need. So I'm gonna be able to use the whole width of this page here. So to get started, I cut this little half moon shape out of the bottom. You don't have to do this, you can keep it straight. I just like the design of the little half moon shape. Then from the corner, I cut about a 45 degree angle up to the spine. When I open that up, it reveals this awesome little delta shape. All right, next I place one of my dowels along that fold that I made and lock it into place with some scotch tape. Just use a few pieces of scotch tape to hold it in place. You don't want to overdo this. You'll also notice that as I go, whenever there's an edge, I let the tape hang off and stick to the table. This actually really helped me out keeping everything stable and in one place. Cool, with that in place, I do the same thing to the side, lining up my dowels and then lightly taping them into place. Another note with the tape is make sure you're using even tape distribution on all sides. You don't want one side to be like super taped down and the other side to be really lightly because the weight is gonna be off. You wouldn't think it would make that much difference, but these kites are so light that it'll actually start to make it lean in the air. Cool, so once that's in place, I went back in and cut off any of the excess I had from those sticks hanging out. I used one of those smaller pieces of stick to make a cross brace that I put about a third of the way down from the nose. Again, just locking it in with a few pieces of scotch tape. This cross section is super important as it gives the whole piece stability. And kind of just letting it float around, it, it looks like it's gonna work. It's, it's really light and just kind of floats on the air. I'm, I'm getting kind of excited about it. From here though, we need to put on our string and we can't just, just tie a line to it or whatever. There, there's an actual technique that goes into how the string is placed. All right, so first we gotta put some holes in it for the strings to go through. We're gonna start with that little crosses in the middle. You just need two holes poked diagonally in the corners of those little cross there. Doesn't matter which corners you choose, just make sure they're diagonal from each other. You're also gonna need two holes about two thirds of the way down on either side of the spine. Now for my string, I'm just using this spool of like leather thread that I have because it's the strongest, lightest string I have. To make our little string attachment point, I just unspooled a bunch of this thread, I'd say about four times the length of the kite and cut that off. For extra strength, this piece needs to be folded to be doubled up. All right, now, send one end of that double thread through one of the holes on the cross. Start from the face side and loop it around the cross and then go back out the other hole. Cinch that tight and tie a knot. This gives us our first secure point of contact with the kite and also helps hold that cross and the kite together. On the other end, do the same thing. Looping your double thread through one hole, loop it around the spine, back out the other hole, and then tie it off into a knot. All right, it's almost there. Now we just need to make sure that it's centered for where it's gonna pull from. Basically, if you just leave this kind of loop out there, the string you tie to it's gonna be able to slide anywhere and you're not gonna pull directly from the center of that kite. To get around this, pinch the the two threads together between the holes. Now move towards one set of holes, letting one side of your thread slide through your fingers as you go. Once you reach those holes, stop and slide to the holes opposite, letting the other side of the thread slide through. Where your fingers are now pinching is the exact center between those two holes. Tie a knot in that spot to lock it into place. This is also gonna leave you with a nice loop to tie your line to later. 
and BAM! We made a kite! As you can see through my sophisticated lab testing here, it looks like it's gonna fly. That being said, this is probably the worst day slash area to test this out. There is very little wind to speak of. I am surrounded by trees and houses. It's just, it's not ideal. That being said, BAM! I was still able to get it into the air. It didn't stay there for very long because there's no real wind to carry it, but That'll actually, that'll definitely work if I got this like a nice big park or a reservoir or on a beach where there's always a wind. I'm looking forward to flying this thing actually. I haven't flown a kite for ever, ever. Well, there you have it. I hope you get to get out this year and have a little bit of fun outside. I know a lot of us have been stuck inside for a long time. So yeah, get some people you love, go out and have a picnic and fly a kite have some fun. I hope you enjoyed this skill. If you did, why don't you give me some of that like it love and do not forget to subscribe so you don't release new content. In the meantime though, keep leveling up you.